Just ordered your very own server from Shockbyte, and now you want to know how to access your control panel and directory? I'm Rin from Shockbyte, and today I'll be showing you how to access your Shockbyte server's control panel and directory. In order to access your server panel and directory, you'll need to locate your control panel login details. This is sent to you via an email called your game server details after you've completed the purchase of your Shockbyte server. Keep in mind that it is not the same login information that you use for your Shockbyte client area. Now that you have your login details, you can now log into the control panel. You can get to the server control panel by clicking the visit server control panel button in the email with your login information. Or go to mc.shockbyte.com on your browser which is also linked down in the description. Click login from the control panel homepage, enter your login details, then click the login button. You should now be logged into your server control panel. If you have multiple servers, you'll be directed to the servers page to see a list of your servers and can click on which one you want to manage or customize. If you only have the one server, you'll be directed straight to your server homepage. Now that you've logged into your server control panel, you're ready to customize your server however you want. You also have full access to your server directory, which comes as standard for all Shockbyte game servers. Having access to your server directory allows you to create, add, delete, edit, and manage your server files and folders. On the server control panel homepage, go to the menu on the left and click Files, FTP File Access. On the FTP server login page, enter the same password you used to log into the server control panel. Then click the login button. And that is it. You'll now be able to view and manage the contents of your server directory. To have even more control with your server files and folders, we recommend using an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP to access your server directory. You can find tutorials for setting up and using these clients linked down in the description. You now know the basic but essential steps to get started in managing your newly purchased Shockbyte game server. Be sure to check out our other getting started guides and a playlist of more useful tutorials in setting up your Shockbyte server. If you found this video useful, then why not leave a like, it would be super helpful, and as always, subscribe for more game server management tutorials such as this one.